We have a brand new poll out this week. Bernie Sanders is the most popular politician in the country yet again. So this is The Hill. They say Senator Bernie Sanders has the highest approval rating of any U.S. senator in a new poll. The Morning Consult poll showed a 75% 75 approval rating for the Vermont senator. Sanders, who lost the Democratic presidential nomination to Hillary Clinton last year, has remained popular. He is now a vocal cri critic of President Trump. Fellow Vermont Senator Patrick Leahy came in second on Morning Consult's ranking of popular senators at 70%. Then you have John Barrasso, Republican of Wyoming, 69%. Mitch McConnell is the least popular, 47% disapproval. Um, John McCain, 43%. Lindsey Graham, 40%. Second and third least popular. Shocking. Slash not at all shocking. And they surveyed 85,000 uh, registered voters for this. So John McCain and Lindsey Graham, um, in other words, the senator and Mitch McConnell, the senators who are most in favor of war are the least popular. And definitely in the case of Mitch McConnell as well, the biggest sellout is the least popular. Now, meanwhile, Bernie Sanders, the one who hasn't sold out in any way, is the most popular. Hmm, it's almost like people uh, don't like sellouts, and they like people who don't sell out. It's really hard to figure out, man. Uh, this proves the problem is big money in politics. When you have a politician that says, hey, I don't take corporate money, I don't take big donor money, I don't take PAC money. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't take it. Uh, I raise from the people and I represent the people. People go, oh, I like that. Even if they have some philosophical disagreements with you, they go, that person's honest. I'm on their side. And by the way, the corporate Democrats, they'll never learn. Because this is now, what, the third poll, the fourth poll we've covered within a year that showed Bernie Sanders, most popular uh, politician in the country. First, there was the one with, okay, ask the constituents in the senators' respective states. Bernie Sanders was number one. Then there was another one, and then another one that was, okay, forget the respective states, ask everybody. Bernie Sanders was number one. So, and now, I don't know how much more evidence you need, and I don't know how many more polls you would need to show that Bernie Sanders was up over Trump on average 10 points. In the uh, best polls, he was up 15 points over Trump. I don't know how much more evidence you'd, you'd need to know that Bernie would have won. They mocked Bernie for... Uh, his voters are too white, too male. And then guess what? In the general election, what was the main reason why Hillary Clinton lost? White male vote in the Rust Belt, in what was supposed to be the Democratic firewall, that Hillary was so convinced she would win, she didn't campaign in some of those states. Think about that. So the exact demographic that people said, Bernie's strongest in that demographic, and that's why you can't have him be the general election candidate... That's the exact demographic that Hillary needed that she didn't get. It's almost like Bernie would have won. Okay, so now all the Democrats, if you actually care and you actually want to win, what you do is you all come out and say, we don't take corporate money anymore, we don't take PAC money anymore, we raise from the people and we represent the people. Here's what we stand for, single payer, free college, make the minimum wage a living wage, tie it to inflation, end the drug war, re-regulate Wall Street, end the wars. Concrete policy position. Nope. They're not going to do it. Why are they not going to do it? Because to them, it's just a duh. To the corporate Democrats, it's a duh to take the money. They go, what do you mean? It's just how the system works. I don't understand why you're holding us to a higher standard than the Republicans. You don't want us to? You want, Yeah, just hold us to the same standard as the Republicans. We're just Maybe we're slightly less corrupt than them, so shut up and vote for us. That argument doesn't work anymore, and it shouldn't work. JusticeDemocrats.com, guys. Sign your name in support of the movement. We're running candidates. 80 through uh, candidate training, 30 in uh, candidate training, four rounds of vetting. We're trying to find the best candidates to run. They take no corporate money, no PAC money, and they represent the people. Go read our platform. This is the movement. And the polls show it works. Why? Bernie already did it. He's the most popular politician in the country. This isn't rocket science. Let's move forward.